Hello, my name is Mary Allen, and I'm the Recycling and Education Director for the Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County, also known as SWANK. Each week, staff receives calls from residents asking what to do with unwanted paint. In this video, I will provide resources and tips on how to reduce, reuse, recycle, or dispose of paint and other unwanted household chemicals. Reduce. First and foremost, think before you buy paint, or any household product for that matter. Do not purchase more paint than you will need, and make sure that you have the right color. Also, be sure to ask for environmentally friendly, low VOC paint to reduce your exposure to harsh chemical fumes. Then, use up what you buy. Cover areas with a second coat of paint or find something else to paint. For instance, use the paint as a base coat on a basement floor or an outside fence. When finished, remove the lid and let the can dry out naturally and dispose of it in your regular garbage. Be sure to leave the lid off so that your hauler knows that the can is empty. Or reuse. Try to donate good leftover paint to an area high school, local theater troupe, church, etc. Or if you have a significant amount of good paint to be reused, contact the Construction Material Depot and the Rebuilding Exchange in Chicago. The site has a bulletin board for buying and selling excess construction materials, tools, and equipment. It also lists locations of reuse stores for donating materials to benefit Habitat for Humanity. Recycle. If your latex paint is not usable and you are not able to dry it out yourself, the following hardware stores in the region will take it back for recycling and charge you a small fee. The Glenview Ace Hardware Store on Waukegan Road in Glenview. Millen Do It Best on Wilmette Avenue in Wilmette. Palatine Ace Hardware Store on Northwest Highway in Palatine. Schomburg Ace Hardware Store on Roselle Road in Schaumburg, Sherwin Ace Hardware Store in Arlington Heights, Skokie Ace Hardware Store on Oakton Street in Skokie. Here are a few tips for drying out latex paint. In a protected and well-vented area, like a garage or basement, away from children and pets, remove the lid and allow paint to dry naturally over a period of time. This method works best if the can is less than a quarter full. For fuller cans, mix shredded paper, kitty litter, or a hardware store-bought waste paint hardener to the paint can and allow it to absorb and dry out over a period of time. Where can you dispose of household chemical wastes? Residentially generated oil-based paint, as well as paint thinners, solvents, and assorted household chemicals are considered hazardous waste and should be disposed of at an Illinois Environmental Protection Agency one-day event or permanent collection facility. Any Illinois resident can drop off these types of materials at the following locations. Cook County's Goose Island facility is located on Branch Street in Chicago. Naperville Fire Station 4 is located on Brookdale Road in Naperville. Rock River Reclamation District is located on Kishwaukee in Rockford, and the Solid Waste Agency of Lake County is located at Estes Street in Gurney, and that is by appointment only. The following materials are accepted at each IEPA household chemical waste facility. Aerosol paints, herbicides, oil-based paints, pool chemicals, paint thinners, antifreeze, solvents, old gasoline, cleaning products, used motor oil, drain cleaners, fluorescent light bulbs, hobby chemicals, old medicines, lawn chemicals, mercury, insecticides, and pesticides. Latex paint and household batteries will not be accepted at these facilities. If you are a business owner and have a large amount of chemicals to dispose of, contact a permitted company to arrange for a pickup for a fee. References are provided at swank.org. 
If you have any questions regarding the household chemical waste drop-off locations or materials accepted, please contact the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency in Springfield. I hope that this video has been enlightening and provided useful information. On behalf of Swank, thank you for taking the time to be responsible. Each individual effort to reduce, reuse, recycle, and safely dispose of items collectively moves us closer to a healthier and a sustainable environment.